today I'm here in the Tri-Cities area and I am going to be picking the town of Richland and Kennewick and Pasco. We're here in Washington and I can see about five antique stores all just around this little cluster right here. So it's going to be a great day. I'm gonna start off with a pawn shop and look for some jewelry and we'll just see where it goes from there. First stop of the day, I'm gonna be hitting this Tri-City Vault and it looks like they do have silver so they might have some scrap jewelry for me. Okay, nothing in there for me, but they did give me a tip about another pawn shop called Ace. Spotted this basket when we first pulled up. Let's see how much they're asking for it. $16, that's not bad. That's a really pretty one. I actually like sometimes when these have that more faded look. There you go, you can kind of see the colors. Um, the back's going to have more vibrant colors because it's been hidden from the sun, but I love that sun faded look. Really pretty. $18.93. You never know what you're going to find, huh? Babe, my hands. What? Whoa. Yeah, they're not the concrete ones I really want or the carved wood ones. These are so cool, you guys. I just got some ordered that are going to be a little bit taller and they're hand carved out of wood. So that's going to be for in our new studio space. But these ones are pretty cool too. Nothing like sitting your butt in a hand. gravel art pieces. I had one just like that in my shop not that long ago. Oh, I need that in my life. I don't know why. That's so funny. You just had a little closet in your room and you open it up and there's a phone booth inside. Oh, the good old days. All right, I'll see you in two hours. That'll keep you busy while I go look at jewelry. Look at this guy. What's his story? Oh, it's just the pedestal. He found the records. I found my spot. Whoa. Ooh, that cuff back there is really pretty. Right there. Amethyst, maybe? This is somewhere that I haven't been yet, but I was told yesterday at another shop that this is a really good thrift store. So let's check this place out. Repeat boutique thrift store. Oh, wow. Look at the rug. Okay. Those colors are fabulous. We have found Uptown Antiques.
basically have this exact same coat, so I don't need it. But look at how good this is. Mine doesn't have the sleeves, though. <laughs> I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. Crushing on these gazelles here. Let's see how much they are. Oh, sweet, you guys. These beauties are only $15 each. I love brass gazelles, so I'm going to pick up the pair for $30. I am so glad that I went into that antique store and I found those brass gazelles. $15 a piece was a really good deal. I ended up selling them in my shop sale for over $100 for the pair. And it's so fun to be able to find these items in the wild, support the vintage shop, bring them home, photograph them, and then send them off to their forever homes. It makes my little heart happy. here in Pasco, Washington, and my husband's grandma, we call her Grandma Laura, she grew up here on this property, which is now a park, and they had, I think, over 100 acres. There were 10 plus kids in the family, and each one of them was given an acre to raise their families on in the hopes of it staying in the family. and. They grew up here during the Great Depression and they owned the land all the way from the river up quite a ways where all the big million dollar homes are. And none of the family lives here anymore. So we're here just kind of checking it out and we're gonna go see the road that has the Schumann name still on it. And it's just kind of neat to be able to visit the space where she always talked about growing up on the farm during the Great Depression. Owl latch hook rug is really adorable, but honestly, I can't believe that I got that necklace for a dollar. It's a handmade artisan piece. I think it's probably from the 70s. I'm not sure, it's not signed, but it reminds me of the mid-century modernist kind of brutalist style pieces by Pal Compenius and Carl. What's Carl's name? Carl. It, it reminds me of Carl's pieces too. <laughs> There's a handful of them, but those can be really incredibly valuable. And I don't think that this is a designer piece, but it sure has that look to it. And I really, really think it's beautiful. And this one, I don't know if I'm gonna sell it. I haven't decided yet. I'll let you know soon. I've been trying to add more brass to my personal jewelry collection. Right now, it mostly consists of sterling silver, which is amazing and I love, but I also really love the look of brass and that's something I'm always on the hunt for. I'll show you my other favorite brass necklace that I got off of eBay for $10 and I think I might choose between the two of these to keep one of them and sell one of them. So let me know which one you would keep for yourself or let me know which one you wanna buy if I'm gonna sell it. I cannot believe that I left that Goodwill empty-handed. 
nothing. I didn't get a single thing. It was huge and it was packed with stuff. I don't know what happened. It just wasn't my lucky day at Goodwill for once. <laughs> the day before in Richland, I got an entire shopping cart full of goodies. And if you haven't seen that video from the first day of this road trip, you need to go check that out because I did good that day. So at this point in the day, I'm starting to get a headache and I decide, all right, I'm gonna hit one last shop just in case. And I am so glad that I did. You know that feeling when you walk into someone's vintage booth and everything is your jam. You literally, you're like scanning it and you're like, yep, 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 yep. You pick up every single one of those things. That's how I felt when I walked into this person's space. Almost everything that I got at that store was from one person's booth. I had to grab the bird sculpture. That was such an incredible deal on that. But I think the thing that I found in that space that I am the most excited about would be the bookends. When I spotted these, they really reminded me of these mid-century designer ones I've seen online. I've never seen any in person, so it's really hard sometimes if you haven't physically like held an item in your hand to compare what the weight would be like, what's the finish on it like, what is there a signature, you know, all of those things help you to decide the value of an item before you buy it. But in this case, they reminded me enough of these designer bookends that it was worth the risk. And either way, the way that I see it, if you like it and you think it's cool, it doesn't really matter if it's designer or not, especially if it's well-made. These are the kind of pieces that send you down the Google wormhole. I know all of your resellers know exactly what that is. You get back in the car and you're immediately scrolling and scrolling and researching. I still don't know who the designer is on these, but these are going in my personal collection and I'm really, really happy that I stuck it out for at least one more vintage shop. Well, I was gonna take you guys picky with me all day today, but unfortunately I am getting an ocular migraine. I don't know if any of you guys have ever had those before, but basically my vision is like a kaleidoscope right now. So I think I'm gonna call it a day and I will talk to you guys soon. The Tri-Cities was amazing. It was everything I hoped it would be. I didn't even get to see half of what I was planning on and I can't wait to do another trip back there. Hopefully this spring when it's a little bit warmer, I think it would be really beautiful to stay at the hotel that I stayed at because they have this beautiful waterfront and it looks like you can even pull up and just drop your kayaks right there in the water. So I think this spring, my husband and I are going to plan a trip if things are safe at that time. If you guys are gonna go to the Tri-Cities area to go pick in, I've got a hotel I will highly recommend. This is not sponsored. We just had a wonderful, wonderful stay there.
thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'll see you guys in a brand new pick and adventure next week.